The Audi A3, when equipped with the all-wheel drive package that boosts power, is a quick little car. But today, I have access to the S3 and RS3, so you know I'm gonna send them all. Now, if you wanna see the full A3 review, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see it as soon as it drops. Without further ado, let's take these out for a zero to 60 test and see how the A3 stacks up. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Royal on the East Side for lending me a few Audis. If you're in the market for something new, used, or just plain cool, check them out. We are in the Audi S3. Put it in dynamic mode. I'm just not going to do manual shifting here. Alright, let's see if we can engage mode. Holy sh Oh my gosh! 60. Oh man, that never gets old. The funniest thing to me was that I had the same reaction to the Golf R DSC launch for the first time, just with a little bit more profanity. Which makes sense, since this has the same engine and ratings as this car. However, I found this one to actually be a little quicker according to my tests, which took place on the same road, the same stretch, but at different temperatures. Something else that I should note, with current Audi incentives, 2019s can be found for new in the upper 30s. This one, for example, is listed for 10 grand below MSRP. Anyway, for about 13 grand more than an S3, you could have an RS3. So let's see if that's worth it. Sixty. <laughs> Ow. That makes your heart race. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fast. <laughs> it's really fast. But it's not breaking my mind like a 911 Turbo might. But for under 60 grand, this will beat the hell out of many sports cars with its all-wheel drive consistently launching it like a slingshot and its lightning quick DSG snapping through its seven gears. Even though all three of these cars used today have a seven speed dual clutch automatic, this one really complements the five cylinder turbo quite nicely. With very short pauses between gears and an exhaust note that's reminiscent of a V10 for me, for a brief moment, you feel like you're in an Audi R8. I just wish it was a little bit louder to kind of play out this effect more. Either way, I really enjoyed it, and this felt way more dialed in than the S3 and A3, which is something I will talk about more in the full A3 review. This is up there on my if I had 60 grand list. Now for the most mainstream model, the A3. Unless you're expecting gut-wrenching acceleration from this thing and passing power, uh, this'll do just fine for most people. All right, we're gonna give it a shot here. Traction control off, dynamic mode. Shifts are lightning quick and 60 miles per hour. My original intent was to do one or two runs on a flat highway to simulate a real world scenario. However, after seeing the A3 flop compared to the S3 and RS3, I couldn't sleep at night. Considering the others achieved or broke the claimed time, why did the A3 lag over a half second behind? Well, my first thought was the launch, but I knew I had it nearly floored when brake torquing the first time and it wouldn't break 2000 RPM. Turns out, my problem was the nearly part. So I decided to go back and get another run in because I knew the A3 had more in it. The fix? Make sure that your foot is to the floor and you feel a click 
in the gas pedal to make sure that you get the most send. With a proper launch, this thing really takes off. While it's noticeably less sensational than the S3, it provided a sprint of 5.4 seconds to 60 on a slightly damp street, so maybe there might have been another tenth left in it. Overall, the straight line performance of the A3 is exceptional for its class, but taking it up to the S and RS level dramatizes this. Obviously, the RS3 is going to win my heart here, but if you're looking for the best Audi bang for the buck in regard to speed, my pick is the S3. Especially if it's a 2019, since they are, in some cases, going for less money than the Golf R. That being said, the A3 still held its own to the S3, especially with its launch mode. This was just a quick test for fun as a part of my newest review. I know it isn't too scientific, but it does paint a decent picture of the real world results, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the full review.